Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in the System I.O. workflow tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use workflows inside of your System I.O. business. Now, the cool thing about workflows is it's more of like a visual idea of what's actually happening and when versus using something like the automations inside of the Funnels tab. So what I'm going to do first of all is show you some of my workflows that I currently use. I'm also going to show you some other types of third-party software that you can integrate with this just to make it a little bit more exciting and then I'll go ahead and show you how to build one from scratch now just before I get started if you are someone struggling with system I have actually got a full course called the system accelerator I'll also leave some information in the description about that and if you haven't yet even got started with system and you join using my link in the description too I'll also give you that system accelerator course for free so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing to note is workflows are inside of automations under workflows and if I just quickly load up my screen here, I'll give you an idea of one of my simple workflows that I use. So for example, someone opts into one of my squeeze pages, which is the free four part affiliate marketing training. This is actually an old one, um, so I don't use it right now. But what happens as soon as they get added, they get tagged with four part video series. It then waits five minutes as in the thank you page, I try to actually sell them something. And then it goes ahead and sends video one, which is an email, which they then receive. Now, after a day, they get sent video two, after another day, sent video three. And then finally, after another day, sent video four. Now on the fourth day, I've actually got in a check right here saying, did this person click on this link in the email? Did they watch the fourth video? And then I can actually go forth and add in actions from there. Now, some pretty cool things about the automations. Uh, you've got all of the different tools inside of system at your fingertips. So you can really build out any type of automation that you might have in mind. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually start from scratch and show you how to build one. So the first thing we want to do is come once again to automations workflows and then come to create and you want to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this the funnel stacked um, series. Okay. So I'll click on save. Now this is pretty cool because you can make this like a autoresponder. So if you want to have 30 days of emails, you can easily build this out in here. It's also very visual. If you want to send out things like webhooks, you can also do that as well. You can do literally anything with it and you can sometimes just have a basic one step autoresponder, right? So if someone opts in, you can send them an email reply. So one thing I tend to do before I actually build out an automation workflow, if it is for a squeeze page that I start off with the trigger is make sure that I have the appropriate tag. So what I'm going to do is quickly just go ahead and create a new tag. And this one is going to be called, um, I'll call it funnel stacked series, just so I know where these people have actually come from and click on save. Okay. And now if I come back, now I'm going to start editing this workflow and you'll see why in just a second. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to create your first trigger. Now, once again, this is something that's going to action this entire workflow. So every time it happens, this is going to start. For this example, we're going to use funnel form subscribed. Now there are loads of different things that can trigger these automations. My favorite ones are if someone enrolls in a course or if someone has uh, subscribed into a form, you can also do blog forms and when tags added and cancellations of sales and email clicks, things like that but we'll keep it simple for now so we'll choose funnel form subscribed and now you've got to go ahead and actually find your squeeze page um, that you want to use now I've gone ahead and created this simple opt-in in fact I haven't really edited the page at all this is just to show you how the workflows work um, to give you an idea of what this page actually looks like I think it's one of the um, the default ones that you can get regardless it's here anyway and if someone puts their uh, email inside there, that's when um, the trigger is going to start. So what I want you to do is uh, come through and find this page. Now to find it, we're looking for, first of all, the page name, the squeeze page name. So funnel space stack space opt-in and below it, it's actually going to say the campaign, which is basically the same thing, except I haven't added a space. This is just to show you um, the difference between them when you look for it. So if I click on select and scroll down, I've got so many pages inside here. Hopefully I can find it pretty quickly. I might actually pause the video and find it. 
Okay, finally found it. This is actually one of the tedious tasks inside of it. I hope one day they actually work on making this a little bit better. But anyway, here it is. So go ahead and choose it once again, keeping in mind the step name is at the top and then the actual funnel it's a part of is the bottom. So go ahead, click on create. And now that is done. Now, what I usually do as soon as someone opts into a funnel that I have, I always tag them. So that's why I went ahead and actually created a tag before I started the automation process. So action, create an action, we can say apply a tag. So go ahead, choose a tag. It's usually the last one that you create if you've just created it and click on create. So now every time someone goes through and puts their name into the squeeze page, they're automatically going to be tagged with this. Now this is just telling me if I go and look at a person who's actually subscribed to what so I know exactly where they've come from and what sort of things they're interested in. So now that that is done, the first thing I would usually do is send out an email. So you can go ahead, click on action and choose an action. You can go and uh, send an email like so and you can either choose one that you've already created if you have or you can go ahead and create one right now so let's go and cre create one quickly i'll just say welcome to funnel stacked um, series right obviously it doesn't have quite the right punctuation welcome to the funnel stack series glad you're here now you can always edit this afterwards this is just to give you a base so i'll show you what i mean so now I've gone to the email editor, you can see we have got the full email builder like so. And this is where you can start adding customizations. For example, um, glad you're here, I can paste in this little short code, which is going to replace it with the actual first name of the person. So I'm not going to spend too long here, you guys know how to send out an email, but I'll say thanks for stopping by, right? And that's when I'd usually link to the page. So go ahead, click on save, right? And now as soon as that person is opt in, they're going to get tagged and they're going to be sent an email. Now, if you're sending out a four part series like this demonstration is for, you can go ahead, click on delay now, and then you could wait for one day, right? So exactly one day from the time the email is sent out, they will have to wait until the next action, which could then be another email, right? Let's just go down to email and I'll just choose anyone, choose, okay? Once again, another delay right day create and you can see how easy this is right so action email okay and just choose another one right and then once again delay and we must be getting pretty close so that's one two three so this is the last one action okay send email and boom there's the fourth so this is just an example so now every time they opt in, they get tagged. So I know where they've come from. They're gonna get sent the first email. They'll wait a day, get the second, wait a day, get the third, wait another day, get the fourth. So this is pretty cool, right? And you can sort of see how people are going through your funnel if they opt in, right? I like to see things visually, and this is one of these great sort of um, solutions that gives you an idea how it works. Now, some other pretty cool things as well. Let's just say, for example, you were doing a course, right? And as soon as someone joins or say purchases the course, so let's just say the trigger will happen when someone enrolls in the course, the course is going to be, um, let's just say it's the system accelerator, click on update. One cool thing I do is I actually add in what's called a webhook to a platform called evidence. And what it does is it gives you basically this result, right? So um, hopefully it'll work. I've been on the page a couple of times so the cookies might not um, trigger but let's have a look anyway um, basically what happens is you can see here every time someone enrolls in the course this little thing gets all the information from that person and now it actually customizes it to the last person who's actually purchased the course so this is pretty cool it's a little bonus thing you can do and you get the webhook from here so let me show you how it works um, I'll just use this example one so no one can actually get the right webhook but what you would do is come to as soon as they have enrolled click on this little plus click action okay come down to send webhook okay and then type in webhook URL you would just come here um, grab this code like so and then paste it in the URL and then boom now every time someone comes through and enrolls in the course it's going to say hey this person has enrolled in this course and send the data to the webhook which will then add it to this particular platform called evidence which is then going to list it 
inside of this little widget, right? So there's a million things you can do with webhooks, which is pretty cool. So I'll quickly delete that in case someone signs up in the next few minutes and then gets all of these. So some other things you can do as well, if you're offering a free course and all you want is their name and email, as soon as someone puts their name and email inside of this part, you can go ahead, click on action and choose an action and you can enroll in course. So once again, you can choose the course you want them to enroll in. As soon as they put in their name and email, they'll be enrolled. So it's really cool because you can once again visually see everything and you can delete everything step by step as well, however you want to do it. But once again, it's as simple as you want to make it. It's also as technical as you want to make it. If you just weren't wanted to send out a few emails, but just wanted to visually see the order they are in, this is the easiest way to do it. So hopefully that all makes sense. I'll quickly just change this back to funnel form subscribed and I'll just choose, um, I'll just choose a random one. This one here and click update. Okay. And click exit. Now the last thing to do once again, once you've completed your workflow and let's just say you want to test it. Make sure you come across to these little three dots and click on activate as soon as you click confirm this is now going to fire every single time someone clicks on uh, or sorry fills out that form or puts whatever trigger it is that you have activated hopefully that makes sense guys i've tried not to make it as technical as possible but it is what it is and it works really well honestly the workflow automations just make things so much easier when you're trying to comprehend building out a funnel anyway that's it from me guys once again if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the, in the comment section. And if you are struggling with system IO and you want some help, once again, I've got my system accelerator course. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But apart from that, that is system IO workflows. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.